Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import the CC4, the Character Creator 4 body motions into Blender 3.6 and then at the same time also retarget the motions on any other 3D avatar in Blender 3.6. That means the motion will transfer from Character Creator 4 to Blender 3.6 and you can retarget it in any other 3D avatar. So to start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, both the Character Creator 4 and Blender, I'm going to just close everything and start a new project. I don't save anything. All right. The first step, in Character Creator 4, just check your contents. It is under the content. Under the content, the motions, under the template, the animations. You can see all of these are, are the motions that are already inside the character creator 4. At the same time, all of these motions will share with iClone as well. These are called the RL motions. If I try to right click it and find the file, then actually you can see all of these extension are RL motions. So to import all of these RL motions into Blender 3.6 first, I'm going to use one of the avatar in Creator Creator 4. I will click the actor. Under the actor, I will choose the cloth. I will choose Camilla 1. All right. Next step, we are going to export some of the motions and later we are going to import the motion into Blender. So first, I will use the CC4 Camilla once and now she's loading, just wait for a while. Then in the Blender, I will press A to delete everything. Then I will just add, I will just import an FBX I'm going to import one of the FBX from my computer. Assume that this, this 3D avatar is the avatar in Blender. Now, this is the one. Next, in your character creator 4, just go and find out the motions that you want to export. For example, for example, the air dance, I right click it, find the file. So now I right click view. You can see these are the motions. So to export this to Blender, the first step, what we're going to do is just ex export as FBX. I click file, export, FBX, cloth character. Then the target two presets we choose Blender, then click the setting and find this, use the T-Post as bind post you have to make sure you take it. The FBX motions, here we choose, we choose the motions, All right? Then click the custom, just open, then Where's your file just now? Wait. Just now the file I already opened. I right click, find the file. This is exactly the location. I right click and copy. Then during I export, I click file exports as FBX cloth character. The target two preset choose Blender. The setting, choose use T post as by post, then at here, choose the motion only. So at this part, the custom, untick first frame as by post, and here we open. Open the location with Ctrl V to paste and press enter. Now these are the 
the motions that we can export it. So first I may just export the seed top and add-ons, just two, two of these. I already hold the control to select it. Select two of these, I click open. Now two of these will be get exported. I click export, I click OK. Then as demo, I'm going to export it on my desktop. I right click to create a new folder. Here I name this as CC4 motion to blender. Enter. The file name I'm going to name this as Camilla. So I click save. Then now you can see some of the FBX already exported. These are the motions that we can use it to retarget in Blender. So now the Blender 3.6 is already here. Next, I'm going to import the add-ons. I click File, Import. But before that, just make sure your 3D avatar, you, see, you can see the name is Armature. I'm going to name this properly as Model 02 example. Then click File, Import, FBX from the desktop, the CC4 motion to Blender. Let's say if I choose the add-ons, then it is going to import the skeleton. I click the skeleton, I press G so that I can move it, then I press X to move it along the X axis. Next, it's the time to retarget it. So I'm choosing the Rococo. I press N, I already installed the Rococo plugin at here. Wait, where is the Rococo? It is here. So just now it is from Corrector Creator 4. So if you if you don't have the Corrector Creator 4 and if you are interested to get the Corrector Creator 4, you can just go to my video description. I already put the, the official link of the Corrector Creator 4. You can just click into the resolution site to get the corrector creator for this is a paid software as, as a reminder to remind you the corrector creator for is a paid software and then the blender is a free software as an open source software now this skeleton just now I, I imported from the i imported as fbx and then now i i will just click the skeleton of my 3d model i click here go to the viewport display to show it in front and show the name. Next, do this as the same just now, show the name, show it in front. So now this is just a reference, you can reference the, you can refer the name. And then now, I, I turn on the Rococo plugin. Rococo is a free add-on for Blender. You can just scroll down, go to my video description. I already put the, the Rococo official site in my video description. You can click and download the add-on for Blender, the Rococo plugin for Blender. Once you already have the Rococo plugin here, next you, you just press N. If you don't know how to install this plugin, I already put the documentations link in my video description. You can learn how to install the Rococo plugin. It is very easy. Now for me, I, I already installed, I press N. It will appear right here. Next, I will just go to the retargeting. Then, now you can see this name, the armature, I'm going to rename it first. I'm going to name this as CC4 Motion 01, for example. Then, the Model 02 is at here. The source, the source of retargeting, I'm going to choose the CC4 motion. The target, I will choose model 02, that's all. Then click bone, build bone list, then expand this so that you can see it clearer. So for this, these are the source. Source is the CC4. Then you have to make sure you retarget it one by one. You have to select one by one for the, corres for the corresponding bone, for example, CC base left hand. Left hand, it is at here, wait. The CC4 base left hand is at here. It is corresponding to this hand, this the left wrist. You have to make sure all, all are already plotted in a corresponding bones. 
do not make any mistake here. All right. You have to check one by one to make sure it is correct. And for me, some of the fingers, I just don't retarget it just because of this is just a demo. I no need the, the fingers. All right. So all of these, some are the re unrelated bones. I just don't retarget it. I retarget just the most important parts like the arm, the shoulders, the spine, the head, the leg and the foot. Once if you already double check and all of the necessary bones you already select it properly of the corresponding bone, then you can just click retarget the animations. Right. Now I already click retarget animation, then it is going to retarget it here. Right. So of course I don't want it to appear at here, I just press Ctrl Z to undo. Because of just now I already moved this skeleton. So I'm going to click here to make sure the location X is zero so that it back to the original point. Then I click this. I scroll down, click retarget the animations. Everything must at the center. Now I just wait for a while, now it already finished retargeted. Next I can just expand the CC4 motions and I click and press delete to delete it. Now just left model to I click the skeletons, I click here to unseen the name and don't make it in front now. I just try to play. You can see this is exactly the air dance motion that already retargeted from the character creator for air dance to the blender 3D avatar and everything already retargeted properly. Alright, that's all. Alright, that's all for today about my tutorial on how to retarget the CC4 motion to Blender 3D Avatar. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharing, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing. See you!